On the front of upper medial side of the thigh is a shallow depression which is known as the femoral triangle. The base of the femoral triangle is formed by the inguinal ligament attached to the anterior superior ilex spine and the pubic tubercle. Apex is the part where the sartorius muscle crosses the adductor crosses the adductor longus muscle. The medial boundary is formed by the medial border of the adductor longus muscle. The lateral boundary is formed by the medial border of the sartorius muscle. The roof is formed by the skin fascia containing the cutaneous nerves and most important it contains the great saphenous vein which drains into the femoral vein by piercing the cribriform fascia. The floor is formed by the iliopsoas muscle, pectineus muscle and the adductor longus muscle. The contents of the triangle. The contents of the triangle are the the femoral nerve the femoral nerve with its two divisions and its branches which supply the muscles of the front of thigh femoral nerve is not a content of the femoral sheath Next to it is the femoral sheath which encloses the femoral artery laterally, femoral vein in the intermediate part and an empty canal which is known as the femoral canal. The function of femoral canal is to allow for distension of the femoral vein in case of increased venous return. It may also be a case, it may also be a place for the femoral hernia to take place. The femoral artery, femoral artery starts at the mid inguinal point, point between anterior superior iliac spine and the pubic symphysis. It is a continuation of the external iliac artery. It passes through the femoral triangle and continues in the subsartorial canal. It gives muscular branches, cutaneous branches and articular branches to the hip joint. The femoral vein receives the tributaries along the arteries including the great saphenous vein.